This is our sixth year of doing this. That's right. We're celebrating a free speech victory. That's what's special about this year. We have improved 100 yards from down there to here. This was done by a, a, a victory won in a still pending case that uh, we have uh, with the World Food Prize in the state of Iowa that our attorneys from last year have won for us as a concession for a legal a filing and charges that they have about uh, free speech issues. They were violated in many ways. We're grateful for the free speech victory, but we're here to occupy the World Food Prize and try to change the corporate culture. Corporate agriculture is killing the planet. They're destroying our land, uh, our water. They're depreciating the quality of our lives simply by existing and using the oil and chemicals and the way they do agriculture and how they pyramid it with the, with the uh, one percenters. They may be able to feed us, but they'll do it badly. And secondly, we all be slaves at the end. So we're here to, to do some protests. Good for you guys. Rock on, every one of you. We need the young people to be involved in the future of the planet here, right? Yeah, absolutely. wonderful, all the way from the future. It's ruining people's lives, not just the food. It's ruining farmers, so it's kind of a big deal, obviously. Um, these people are getting afforded for that. I don't really think it's very ethical or moral. We are. Awesome. We're here. Awesome. Bring it to light, yeah. Okay, you, Occupy. Just come around this way, Occupy. This is an expression of what they call free speech in America. So we're celebrating that right off the bat, because that's something we want here. And these days, winning free speech is very important. He's a real farmer, a Catholic worker farmer. Mike Miles. Mike Miles has been at it for over 30 years on his farm in Wisconsin. Yeah, I'm a farmer, but I'm more than that. I'm an agroecologist, which means I do farming with living systems, with biology instead of with chemistry. And what that means is when I am managing symbiotic relationships between my animals that live above the ground and the most important animals on any farm that are three feet under your feet and the plants that interact between them, all the fertility that we need is right there. It's all right there. You don't have to buy any synthetic fertilizer. You don't have to buy any kind of pesticide. You don't have to do anything but manage nature. Our state had turned into a toxic dump. And the World Food Prize attendees, welcome to Iowa, one of the sickest places on the planet, thanks to industrial agriculture farming. The corporations Monsanto, DuPont, Dow, Syngenta, Bayer, BASA, and their products have given us dead soil, toxic drinking water, and fish kills. We eat and breed pesticides in Iowa. Monsanto glyphosate 24D atrazine dicamera is spread across our land. Monsanto's glyphosate is now in our blood and in our bones. It is 80% of it's in 80% of our food and falls from the heavens in the rain. Our children are sick from preventable illnesses. We have thousands who are hungry just like Nigeria. The greedy corporate biotech industry, the Farm Bureau, their mantra is profit. Beware of the World Food Prize teachings, their workshops and experts who sell their souls. Beware of the World Food Prize promotion of GMOs, these seeds are deadly. We will continue to fight for the health of the people. We will continue to define ourselves by the best that is in us, not the worst that's been done to us, to our land and to our health and to our planet. We fight for sustainable and organic agriculture and we will persist and we will always take another step. We will take another and yet another step until we prevail and our land once again is alive and our people healthier. Thank you. You think our message is getting through? I don't know. That doesn't look all that good. I mean, they got the band. They got the state house. They got their name on the people's house. What's going on here, baby? These are people with money, those one percenters. 
They are scripting this whole scene and they own our government. That's why we're out here and they can't hear us. But we're here again to speak the truth. Industrial agriculture goes over to Africa, it goes over to India, it goes around the world in the poorest countries and creates these industrial large farms and takes the, t takes the small farmer away from his soil. We need the small farmer, we need the agroecological methods with the small farmer. Sustainability is important. Second, we have climate change going on now, it's no doubt. 97% of all scientists say that, if you're a real scientist. And we have to watch the health of our soil, our air, and our water. And industrial ag destroys all of that. So let's hang in there, let's stand for sustainability, let's stand for the small farmer, and let's stand for agroecology. So this is our job to speak up, especially the younger generation. This is when we need to step in, especially because it's going to affect our grandkids, our kids. The only farming we know here, we gotta have oil to get it. We gotta have oil to grow it. We gotta have oil to collect it. And we gotta have oil to send it all over the world. And we're killing each other doing it. That's what global agriculture is doing. It's the other side of global war. That's why we're here. And that's why we'll continue to be here. Okay, we are taking these guys on. As Margaret Mead says, the only thing that's ever changed anything is small groups of citizens. That would be you. So get yourself a hand for being a small group of citizens. Who, who is going to change the world. We, these guys are going to stop doing what they're doing eventually because it's going to stop working. For a sustainable future. I don't think they get it. Thank you for your service. I think we're going to hopefully victory instead of uh, uh, 110 yards down there and being picked up as soon as we cross the uh, second street down there out of sight of everything uh, this year we're allowed to come all the way up to the front door Woo! The world pool prize uh, this year was contested at the front door that's pretty good not bad wall street runs the world corporate ag runs this state they own this house uh, we're here to say shame on the legislators, shame on the leaders of this state that have bellied up to these corporate hacks that are killing the planet.